जय श्री गुरु महाराज जी की जय ऑन दिस पायस डे ऑफ गुरु पूर्णिमा आई एम बिगिनिंग दिस चैनल मिस्टिक मोहना डेडिकेटेड टू माय स्पिरिचुअल गुरु श्री श्री मोहनानंद ब्रह्मचारी दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैनल एंड इट इज ऑन गुरु महाराज लाइफ Let me now begin. Shri Hem Chandra Bandopadhyay and Shri Mati Vinayani Devi came to their Guru's ashram in Karanipad, Deoghar, with their one and a half year old son Manmohan to seek Guru's blessings. Shri Shri Balananda Brahmachari's blessings. Balananda Brahmachari was a hugely built bearded monk. with long matted hair piled up on his head the expression on his face used to emit peace and tranquility the little child was not even slightly frightened to see this bearded huge yogi he rather looked at him with wide curious eyes shri balananda ji looked at the baby and blessed him and said to his mother mai तेरा लड़का सज्जन बनेगा मीनिंग मदर योर सन विल बिकम अ ग्रेट मैन इन फ्यूचर मनमोहन बंदोपाध्याय ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन टू श्री श्री मोहनानंद ब्रह्मचारी गॉड द डिवाइन डिक्लेरेशन ऑन दैट डे गुरु महाराज श्री श्री मोहनानंद ब्रह्मचारी टूक बर्थ ऑन सेवनटीन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन ओ फोर दैट इज सेकेंड पोष 1311 as per bengali calendar in kharpel bazar area medipur district west bengal it was dashme biddha ekadashi tithi shukla paksha when he appeared on earth he was the second child of his parents although he was born in medinipur guru maharaj's ancestral home was in shivnivas village in nadia district of west bengal his thread ceremony or upanayan was performed in his ancestral home in shivnivas guru maharaj's birth name was shri manmohan bandopadhyay everyone in the family used to lovingly call him kabu father hemchandra held a high post in the excise department of bihar government because of his father's transferable job guru maharaj also traveled in various places with his father while growing up he was a ramta yogi right from his birth ramta yogi means the saint who does not live in one place for long guru maharaj was everyone's favorite in his childhood he grew up like other children yet different from others He was an extremely fair, tall, good-looking and a healthy child. He had a sweet, calm and reserved nature that used to draw everyone towards him. He was very close to his younger brother Manoj Mohan after he passed the entrance examination with first class from Dhanbad High School. His father got him admitted to Scottish Church College in Kolkata and that's in 1920. His younger brother also joined him in Scottish Church College the next year. Ogilvy Hostel was the hostel where he used to stay during his college days. He soon became everyone's favorite there too. Guru Maharaj was fond of music and singing spiritual songs. During these days his inner transformation began to take place very rapidly the divine calling was such that everything else felt meaningless and trivial he started spending more and more time in spiritual practices listening to spiritual songs or kirtans and singing those as well this way days were passed and the feeling of detachment grew more and more intense in him others did not have a clue of all those transformations that were taking place inside him only his younger brother manoj mohan noticed it 
to some extent. Suddenly on 9th September 1921 at the age of 17, he left the college hostel early in the morning without letting anyone know and with only some pocket money and nothing else. With that money, he could afford to buy a train ticket of third class to Deoghar and landed in Sri Sri Balananda Brahmachari Maharaj's ashram in Karanibad that evening. He prostrated before him. He also let him know about his decision to pursue spiritual life and asked for Balanandaji's shelter. Sri Balanandaji found out that this young boy was none other than his disciple Hemchandra's son. After Guru Maharaj left hostel, he left a small note for his brother that he was going to pursue the spiritual life but did not mention where he was going. Knowing about his leaving, his parents were distraught. Nothing could stop the tears of Mother Binani Devi. Then suddenly a letter came from Guru Balananda Brahmachari that Manumohan was there in the ashram. Parents reached there with a lot of hope to bring him back with them. But neither mother's tears or father's advice could change Guru Maharaj's mind. He had made up his mind to renounce the materialistic world. Seeing his parents completely heartbroken, Balananda Maharajji intervened and assured them that it would be best to let their son pursue the spiritual path and also promised that he would look after him. Soon after this incident, Guru Maharaj's father resigned from work and relocated to Deoghar along with his wife to spend rest of their lives in spiritual pursuit as well. Guru Maharaj started living in the ashram as a brahmachari taking care of some of the work of the ashram, reading spiritual texts, performing spiritual practices, worships as instructed by Param Guru Sri Sri Balananda Maharaj and also being at his service always. Since his parents also started living near the ashram, they could also sometimes meet him when they visited the ashram. Soon, with his inherent purity, reserved yet sweet nature, immense sense of responsibility and dutifulness, he became everyone's favorite Brahmachari in the ashram. Sri Balanandaji at times used to test him by giving him some extremely difficult work. And every time he used to complete these tasks without any hesitation and before time. During his days in the ashram, Guru Maharaj learned Sanskrit from a Sanskrit Pandit. He started reading and learning ancient spiritual texts written in Sanskrit and deciphering the inner spiritual meanings of those texts so easily that even his Sanskrit teacher used to get surprised. Sri Balanandaji was noticing all this and was very pleased with the all-round rapid progress that he was making. After some time, Sri Sri Balanandaji decided that the time was right to initiate Manamohan into the stringent spiritual path of Naishthik Brahmacharya. He let his parents know about his decision. Mantra Diksha or initiation took place and Sri Balanandaji gave him his new identity, Mohanananda Brahmachari, who to us is our beloved Maharaj. End of part 1 and part 2 is coming soon. Jai Shri Guru Maharaj Ji Ki Jai.